exercise, sleeping, you know, uh, 14 hours a day. I tried lots of different things. And when that didn't work, I finally, um, finally decided that I had lots of tools and tried medication and thankfully uh, within six weeks I felt much better. It was kind of a revelation to you, wasn't it? It really was, but then it was also a sort of a, uh, it was a little tricky because I thought, okay, this medication works, um, I'm going to be happy now mm. forever. And then we said, oh, that's right, <laughs> life still happens. It's not how it works. <laughs> that's it. it. It gets to a point where you're not, um, you know, incapacitated, but it doesn't solve all of your problems. What drove and what has driven this constant cycle of travel? And there are wonderful adventures described uh, in the book. You know, Southeast Asia, Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, Malaysia, although India's off your list, we might get to that. New York, <laughs> London, Europe, I mean, it's just, you know, it's fabulous. Berlin on New Year's Eve, which anyone who's yeah. been there, it's wild. It is. It is. What drove that, though? Um, I think I've always wanted to travel. Uh, a lot of my friends at this stage are, are having children and I've never been able um, to, to shake the, the travel bond. So when people are saying, oh, I'm going to get a house and, and have some kids and settle down, I think, oh, no, I just want around the world to get, I want to keep going. There's still so many places I want to see and things that I want to do. So I guess instead of a maternal instinct or a um, desire to have children... I want you to get your Bible and I want you to turn to the chapter of gospel according to John. According to Words, a program brought to you by China Radio International. I'm your host, Liu Yan. The word I'm going to introduce to you today is swagger. If you have a relatively big vocabulary, chances are you already know its original. To walk with a lofty, proud gait in an effort to impress. <laughs> That when he is in the building, the swagger index reaches a hundred thousand trillion.
that went down <laughs> an hour ago. It sets early up here. I thought he was supposed to be working with Tata. <laughs> Who the hell asked you? I did. Oh. He did work with Tata, didn't he? No, you never let him get a good signal report. He wouldn't shut up. Oh. Where's Tata? Oh. Get out of here. Never mind your neck. Give, give, give Dale a nice signal report. Dale, you're good chicken out of You are good chicken out of I got a thousand watts and a model band here, and I most, most often I always get a good signal, but thanks for that anyway. Hey, he gave you 20 overnight. Uh, okay, yep. very strong. Good hearing him. Kilo Delta 4, Alpha India unit from 9K2, and you're good hearing him. Good evening to you too. Uh, I forget you, QTH. I don't have even a paper log anymore. I'd just like to uh, hit DX and brag to uh, that It helps if you know where they are, because then you know where to point the beam. Yeah, I'm beaming northeast. Uh, so I guess you're in Europe. Nope. Uh, you come in good anyway, regardless of your QTH. But uh, give me a call one more time. Kilo 2, Mike and Hey, uh, Nick. 